constantly seeing one body type in the media hinders one's intimate relationship with his or her own body, thus fostering self-hatred for not obtaining the ideal body. Belvedere Moore utilizes her fashion media career to dismantle the rigid and unattainable standards of beauty within the exclusive industry of fashion through the means of her online publication called Fall Up 2. Her evolving journey through the fashion media industry has shaped her into the woman she is now today. In the beginning of her career, she tried to model in New York at the age of 18, but was turned away from agencies because she was deemed not thin enough, weighing in at 120 pounds. Dia Moore's obsession with obtaining the thin ideal hindered her ability to take care of herself, which spiraled into an eating disorder. Dia Moore came to the realization that her obsession with thinness was not worth her happiness, health, and life. I see so many women who don't feel good about their bodies, and men too, but for the most part, a lot of women, especially when you're photographing models, and you see these icons of what is perceived as feminine beauty and the ultimate feminine beauty, and you see that they're not happy with their bodies. So if, if these women are not happy with their bodies, then how is it the average person can be happy with their body? Defying the fashion industry's norms, at 38 years old, she gained international recognition by walking the runways for John Galliano and Jean-Paul Gaultier. Weighing 290 pounds and rocking a size 26, she paved the way for plus-size models' visibility and representation in the industry. Through Dia Moore's historical achievements in fashion, she found her true calling. You know, angst of not fitting within the fashion industry grew into a revolution of how we see beauty and how much I can hopefully make a dent to change that and to help people with self-esteem issues, you know? Because more often than not, people will hearken to this health issue and they will totally speak nothing about how people feel about themselves. And you can't talk about health without talking about mental health and that's where people leave it out they do not ever speak about how women in general don't feel good about themselves a lot of people don't feel good about them. men are starting not to feel good about themselves because fashion and media drives our perceptions of ourselves in order to open the conversation surrounding body image as well as mental and physical health she created an online publication called volup 2 with the purpose of demonstrating that fashion is diverse and for everyone. Dia Moore recognizes that it is important for everyone to see themselves in the media. She counteracts a lack of representation within traditional magazines with imagery of plus-size, trans, and disabled bodies that are rarely seen within the media. The written and visual content displayed on Volup 2's platform is critical to one's confidence and reassurance in his or her own beauty, uniqueness, and difference. The content inspires all to embrace and celebrate their skin, disability, shape, size, and sexuality. In the end, Dia Moore uses her platform to continue creating new inclusive standards of beauty. She promotes the idea that self-expression is a political tool to employ in order to be seen, heard, and celebrated. Through Fall of Two, Dia Moore purposely captures and presents realistic portrayals of diverse models so that women, men, and non-binary individuals can identify, thus fostering a sense of self, community, and ultimately belonging.